Hello all, welcome back to another video. Today, we will take a look at Sharp Login Prompt, a C-sharp binary that will create a login prompt to force and annoy the victim to enter his credentials. This is a post-exploitation module, which means you will have to first compromise the user. This module to prompt for the user's password is very useful, practical, and also realistic. Often times, when you compromise a user account, usually via phishing, you will get a callback on your C2. Despite having remote access onto your victim's computer, you will not have your victim's password. If you need your victim's clear text password, you will need to either prefess the system and dump the hashes to try to crack it or you can use sharp login prompt to attempt to harvest clear text credentials from your victim. Without further ado, let's get started. To facilitate the demo of sharp login prompt, Windows Defender will be turned off for this video. Unzip the downloaded file and open it up with Visual Studio. Build the solution and it should result in the c -sharp binary as shown in the screen. Execute the binary first to have a feel of what to expect. We will execute this binary over a C2 channel via a reverse shell just like how a real attacker would do later on in the video. Upon execution, we can see that a login prompt immediately pops out. This isn't just a simple credentials harvesting login prompt. It will also validate that the user's credentials you have entered is correct. Else, the login prompt will persist until the correct credentials is entered. It's pretty cool. Now let's get a reverse shell over our Covenant C2 channel. Awesome, we have a callback now. First, let's upload the sharp login prompt binary onto the target machine with the upload command. Let's execute the sharp login prompt binary with shell cmd using Covenant C2. Let's switch over to our victim's Windows computer. As shown in the screen, the victim will get greeted with the login prompt. The login prompt will continue to pop out until the correct credentials are entered by the victim user. On our Covenant C2, we can see the output appropriately. We are now able to obtain the clear text credentials of the victim's computer. Alright all, that is it to this short and quick video. I hope you all have found it to be interesting and useful. All credits belong to the author of the tool and all of the references shown will be in the video's description. Thanks for watching and I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye!